The knowledge and experience gained from volunteering in the CFA enhances the members' lives both professionally and personally. The skills that I've learnt from the CFA that um, really carry over into my, my working and my personal life um, uh, probably the main one is dealing with people. Um, as a CFA volunteer you get to meet a lot of different people, whether they're other volunteers, whether they're CFA staff, whether they're victims, you get to meet a lot of people so it really does help to open your eyes and you really do get to know people a lot better. I picked up a lot of leadership skills and a lot of confidence skills when I joined the CFA. Um, I use that in my everyday work, you know, there's situations where um, you may have to uh, step up and take, take the reins for instance um, and, and just steer something, you know, in a direction that, you know, someone might not be confident to do um, and I've definitely picked up that skill where I can, can step up, I believe, and, and, and take the reins and, and use that situation or steer that situation, you know, in a good way, the way that it needs to go. With my travels and my uh time with it, I can usually run into a person that I know in just about anywhere in the state. And this is another great thing about it. And um, those people too now are getting into the older bracket, but it's still terrific to catch up with them. And you pick up the fireman when it's issued and you look through there and I'll admit some of the faces now are not quite as easy to find, but there are still people I know and uh, I, I don't mind referring it to the, as the family. You meet oh, so many people, it's just wonderful that you can just use the skills that I've got out of the CFA, I use them every day of my life. It has given me greater confidence. The wider network of people that are there to support me are also um, people that we can support also a lot of camaraderie from you know working with the team, a lot of friendship. You you go up there on the Tuesday nights every week and you know you form a pretty close tight bond and the leadership's really good you know you've been up there for a while and you guys start you know you sort of get put into a role where you can teach the new guys and yeah it's really good to get skills like that out of it definitely. People often think that the CFA is that you must be on the back of a truck putting water out on the flames. Well, I have never been on the back of a truck in an, ac in an incident. There are so many roles within the brigade, from admin to helping out with training, working with the children, uh, doing what I'm doing with community ed, uh, even helping with the garden and the working bees around the station. There's just that many jobs that if you do not have to actually be on the back of that truck out there in amongst it. CFA is not all about training and hard work and fires and so on and so forth. There's a lot of social things that go on um, in the CFA. It's, it's one big family. Um, when you're in your brigade, whether, you know, what region you're in or whether it's statewide, we have a, um, we have a CFA fishing club, um, which is a Smokies Angling Club, and um, we have volunteers and, and career firefighters who are all uh, members of the club, and we all go out um, and socialise and do fishing trips away. Thanks guys. CFA volunteers help the community prepare for an emergency, respond to an emergency and help recovery afterwards. Locally they can be found raising money for community projects, developing local business skills and strengthening community networks and business partnerships with people like IGA. Oh, when we get an application form with CFA on it, uh, we deal with that pretty favourably in, in terms of looking at that employee. Mm. Because we know of their background and the associates they've had, the training they've had uh, is quite a favourable aspect of them. When I first came in for my interview and it was seen on my resume that I volunteer for CFA, I was told straight away that Leo was a CFA friendly employer. So that gave me great peace of mind. I've been working at IGA for about a year now and it's really satisfying to know that if my pager goes off I can just leave work and I'm under no threat of losing my job. We've had an association with the uh, CFA through our local community rewards program where we can support the brigade uh, tangibly but we've also had uh, many employees that have been members of various brigades and we're, we're delighted to be associated in that way as well. We'll be back with more after the break. It's really rewarding seeing the kids be really passionate about volunteering themselves.
Raj Fahur wanted something different in life, so he joined the CFA as a volunteer. And now Raj is leading the charge to encourage people from different backgrounds to get involved. Traditional way overseas, uh, from my understanding, uh, I am Australian born, um, is that uh, most of it's either done by government or by um, a, a private body perhaps. Um, they don't have volunteers um, that do uh, like what we have coast guards or lifesavers or firefighters. Uh, so they come to this country um, and they don't know that the people that turn up on their doorstep in an emergency perhaps uh, as a firefighter or have pulled them out of the water while they're swimming down at the beach is in fact a volunteer. I think they see the uniform more of an um, authority kind of figure, um, someone they may need to be afraid of or highly respected. The understanding we're trying to get out there is, is just because you have a, a different background or a different culture um, or you don't have an understanding, get involved, um, you know, ask questions, have a look. Um, there's people like me out there that you can come out and, and ask a question um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. As long as we can get some more diversity um, within volunteering in general, um, especially the CFA, our country is very multicultural. Um, the more kind of people we can get involved in our organisation, the better it's going to be for the organisation as well as for the public. It's really rewarding seeing the kids come up and be really passionate about volunteering themselves. Um, it, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside because it's, you know, you're sort of helping to bring up that next generation of volunteers so that when I'm to the stage where, you know, I'm getting crew leader and I'm, you know, perhaps a bit more experienced, I know that these young guys are going to come up and, and be my rookie crew members and that makes me really happy. It's been a family affair for about, about eight years now. I, when I became a full member when I, about eight years ago, when I was 16, and then my other younger brother joined probably about four years ago. So yeah, my dad's been in the, a member for 25 years. Long term, probably looking Hopefully get my 50 year badge, we'll, we'll see what happens but yeah hopefully in the next few years I might get a vote for a lieutenant and then we'll see about that red heart being captain a bit later on, maybe dad can pass it down to me. Social times with the family can often revolve around the brigade, we're extremely lucky in that we've got six grandchildren very close to us, they are also very, very keen to become members of the brigade. They've just got to grow into their shirts. My goal to achieve, hopefully, uh, and that's to become a career firefighter and um, continue on doing what I'm doing, um, basically as a career firefighter. And I think that's the thing about volunteering is that you, you're doing good for your community. You're probably not doing a lot of harm to yourself. And, um, you know, all the rest that goes with it then's a bonus. I think that's the whole basis of how the CFA has really come about in rural fire brigades. It's looking out for one another when, uh, when people need it. It just makes you feel good and you feel, you feel fantastic when you know that you've gone out and gone, hey, I've saved that person's house or, you know, I've done something for someone and, and not expecting anything in return. It just makes you feel good. It's a great, great organisation to be involved with.